guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to create a connected app. The reason we want to create a connected app is so that we can connect to Salesforce from an external application. Because when we create the connected app in return, we are going to get a client ID and a consumer secret key and that two information will be used to authenticate, right? So we're going to go back here to the setup and in the quick find, write in apps. Under the apps, app manager, click on app manager. And here is the option to create your connected app. So click on this new connected app and then provide the connected app name. So here I'm going to say test Salesforce. This is the name and then this is the API name, email address. I'm going to provide info at mytutorialrack.com. And then if you scroll down, you're going to enable the OAuth settings. We have to provide a callback URL. So I'm just going to call it login.salesforce.com. And then now it is asking you the available OAuth scopes. Okay, so what does it mean is, how, what kind of access do you want that external application to have on Salesforce? So it means, do you want to give full access? Was that external application should only be able to access chatter related data? So what kind of access do you want to give to that external application who will be connecting to Salesforce? So we are going to give full access for now. So we'll, whatever the access you want, you can choose from any of these options and uh, try to give minimum access or whatever access they need. Just give them. Don't give, don't expose too much information, but just for our purpose, we're going to leave it as full access and we'll move it to this right side. That's it. Now come down here and then hit the save button. So this might take a couple of minutes. And uh, once you have all this information ready, it has to be called as HTTPS then, and then hit the save. So it's asking that give us ten, two to 10 minutes for your changes to take effect on the server before you can use this connected app. So let's just wait now. You can see here, this is the consumer key and this is the consumer secret. So these are the two things that we needed so that postman can talk to Salesforce now. So we have to provide these two values to the postman so that postman can authenticate itself, right? And then postman can make calls, rest API calls to Salesforce. So this is how you create a connected app inside of Salesforce. So I'll repeat, you type in the keyword app and then go to app manager and click on new connected app and provide all the information. And then you will be able to get your connected app created. Now. After the connected app, you can see here at the bottom, this is the connected app we have created and it shows up at the end. So now in the next tutorial, we will use this piece of information from Postman in order to authenticate. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.